Hey guys, Best Effects here, and today we're doing a tutorial on the Rainbow Runner machine. And you see, part one is timing. And you see minecart going around some minecart tracks. And that's the basis of the machine, as you see in the back left corner of the screen. It's all about minecart timings. And we can't use uh, redstone, uh, redstone repeaters with delays because when you log in and out, they kind of, excuse me, glick at, glitch out. So what you want to do is make these ovals, and you want to make three on the bottom, as you see me making right now. They can be of any size, but um, if you're in a space restraint, uh, you may want to make them um, on the smaller side. So first you want to do this, and then you want to put the detector rails in the middle of whichever side you want the bulk of the machine to go, because that's the side that everything is going to be on. And then you want to put your power rails um, wherever you see fit. Um, you may want to make them a uh, different pattern for each oval because you want different timings at the same um, timings for each uh, line. So as you see, you just want to connect them all up. And then we're going to do two more, two more ovals on top of this. Um, the same setup, you just want to make the power rails and the detector rails. And we have a pig in the way. Great. <laughs> so you just want to put your redstone torches where your redstone powered rails are. So they can get powered. And then of course don't forget to put your minecarts there. And make sure they do a full revolution on their own. Before you start doing anything else. Because you don't want to have um, minecarts that are stuck when you're ready to build the other half of the machine. So then you want to build two more ovals on top, um, make it one block above the rails. Um, you can just literally right click on the rails uh, with a solid block and it will build one block above it. And that's that. So you just want to build it in the most um, space saving way. I just built it um, above the uh, other two in the center. So put your detector rails in front, get your powered rails on there and then we will be back okay so that's done with that and then you want to put redstone torches on the bottom three but not on the top two and that's just for timings and uh, um, easy of use uh, ease of use for the warning system so you want to just put them all down so it's one block out from the top uh, the top staircase down with the redstone so right there and next you want to put your redstone repeaters down and you want four of them and four ticks across all five lanes um, these are I'm just calling these lanes <laughs> so you just want to do that for each one and this is for timings for the warning system which goes like maybe four ticks before the actual wave comes and this will help uh, with timings and that gives us a lot of flexibility for uh, making the machine how we want it so here we go four ticks on each one make sure they're all four ticks and they're all the same down the rows okay so then you want to make your pulse limiters and this is going to make um, each um, signal that comes in only one pulse this will add to the the wave effect of sorry of the um, of the pistons that will make it look like a rainbow runner so you want both all of these on two ticks each and you want two of them in between these blocks as you see and then you want two blocks above each of the as you know, you want a block above each of the uh, repeaters there. And make sure they're all on two ticks, the ones that are encased by those iron blocks right there. Then you want your redstone torches on the front end, and then you want your redstone torches on the first block closest to the rails. Uh, the highest block for closest to the rails. And then everywhere else on the thing on the top, you want to put your redstone. And it's getting a little laggy here, I don't know why. Okay, so that's that. And you just want to add a redstone uh, piece just to 
make it look nice. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is the warning system. And the warning system is going to give you, of course, a warning before the wave comes. So to add this in, you want to put out 11 blocks, or 11 pieces of redstone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then build out some blocks. So you want to keep it in the same order as, as, you, uh, as the ones you see ahead of you. So you want to do it every two to give you ample space to do so. And from this top you want, you want you can get these any way you, you want to, but um, this is the way I do it. I'm just going to fast forward through this because it's pretty much all the same. You just kind of bring all of these over, um, keep them in the same order, and always remember to keep your minecarts on the track. You may need extra power because since you're adding blocks to the side of minecarts that are uh, minecart rails, it actually slows the minecart down. So I'm going to speed this up and then come back when, it, when I'm done. done with the warning system uh, set up so we're gonna end it after I finish this off so this is part one of the rainbow runner uh, tutorial and thanks for watching guys and have fun make sure all of these will um, have signals at the end of their um, at the end of the redstone so just kind of put your repeaters wherever you uh, see fit to make it the most efficient timing so you won't really see this so you don't need to be all, ex all aesthetically pleasing but I like to keep it all simple so I just put all the repeaters in the same um, place so thanks for watching guys